Hey, Mike. Hi, everyone. Can everyone hear me? I don't know if I should wait a couple minutes or just go ahead and get started. Uh, so my name is Ryan Keeney. It's uh, my pleasure to introduce myself as the varsity head coach this year. Um, I've been coaching since 2019 as the assistant. Uh, a little about myself. I'm the director of instruction at Hunt Valley Country Club, which is actually our varsity team's home course. So it works out as a great advantage throughout the season. Have the boys coming out all year long, uh, getting practice in. Uh, we have fall leagues, summer leagues. So basically all year round, uh, the boys have access to the course, which really serves as a strong home field advantage for us. I want to introduce my uh, varsity coaching staff, which unfortunately uh, isn't in the meeting today. Um, two graduate assistants that are a very close friend of mine that I've had the privilege to mentor, uh, Pierce Sheeran. He was a part of our 2019 championship team. He's also a member at Hunt Valley. Uh, we play together all the time. He has so much golf knowledge that he can give to the program. And um, he's actually on a trip with at in Ireland uh, for Loyola College. Uh, my other graduate assistant, his name's Tyler Lysick. He was our captain on the 2021 team. And he's also a close friend of mine. And I've Privilege that I've been able to mentor him. He is now at Penn State in the PGA pro, um, golf management program. And he also has uh, extensive knowledge in the program. He is on a golf trip right now in Oregon uh, at Bandon Dunes. So he's been sending me pictures and videos. Uh, so I'm looking forward to having their help throughout the year. Um, the varsity, we are in the A conference. Uh, we played 12 matches against conference rivals like Calvert Hall, Spalding. Mount St. Joe, Gilman, McDonough. Uh, we play six home, six away. Um, and we play match play. So it's six versus six. This is kind of unfortunate for us because our program is constantly growing. And I mean, I think we had 30 players try out for varsity and almost 30 for JV or maybe more. So unfortunately, there's a lot of sticks that just don't get much time to play, but you know, they uh, are happy to be on the team. So six versus six, we got 21 point match, one point for the front six, one point for the back six, one point for overall. And the ones and twos, each grouping will play best ball for that third team point. Um, mid season this year, which in the past, it's been at the end of the year, we have a stroke play individual tournament, which is a two day event, has a lot of college scouts, and a lot of access for um, players that want to play to the, the next level. And the MIAA is loaded with those. Um, after that, at the end of the year, the top four will make the playoffs. And um, in the past, we've been lucky enough to have our championship at Caves Valley, which uh, we were able to make it to last year. Um, but this year is, is at Hayfields. Um, so leading the JV this year, someone that uh, is a good friend of mine and even better mentor, um, uh, he was the head varsity coach the last three years, and he has been instrumental in my development as a coach and in the golf business. And I'm happy to introduce Mike Messina. He is um, taking over more of a developmental role because of our program is expanding so much. I think today was the first middle school clinic that we've uh, started, and he is leading that charge in our first middle school team. So, introduce yourself, Mike. Wow. Thanks, Ryan. Can you hear me, bud? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. 
perfect. Um, great job. There's no better friend than Ryan Keeney, no better friend to uh, the Loyola golfers than Ryan Keeney. Um, he's done an absolutely outstanding job, and I just want to brag on him a little bit. So in preseason scrimmages, they played some strong teams, uh, DC powerhouses, and they went 3-0. and So just ab an absolutely talented staff. Uh, our talented team and staff for that matter. And there's nothing uh, but good things that lie ahead for the Loyola golf program uh, with Ryan in command of the varsity, <clears throat> excuse me. So just uh, Ryan basically covered all the bases. So JV uh, and opposition to varsity, there's gonna be 10 matches. So two fewer, 10 holes, um, just for pace of play considerations. But in terms of scoring, the scoring is the same. Uh, it's a match play format. Uh, we're keeping 12 players. I want to get as much experience as I can, give them the opportunity to learn and grow and to, to give them the best possible chance of making the varsity squad. This year is a little different than in the past. Instead of three days, we have four days of practice. I've introduced uh, video technology, launch monitor technology. I can do voiceovers. I can send the boys video analysis to uh, commensurate with those changes we're making. And as Ryan had mentioned, we've also started a middle school program. It has, I think, surpassed both of our expectations. Currently, there are 34 young men in that program. I just worked with 18 of them tonight, and we have some a lot of good talent in the pipeline. More than that, we have better young men. Um, just wonderful group tonight. And I look forward to hosting another group on Saturday morning. Um, so I, that's it. In a, that's basically it in a nutshell. Ryan, back to you, bud. Yeah, um, I'm happy to answer any questions if um, anyone has anything they'd like to talk about. Um, we're excited to get the season underway. Our first match for the varsity is Monday. I'm not sure when yours is, Mike, but Tuesday yeah, we, Ryan, did, we, we just been. Um, I'm sorry. Tuesday we open at Rolling Road. Okay, I know that place well. Yeah. We're lucky this year we've had it at home. So the boys have been working hard. They just got off the course just now. Um, I just can't wait to get started. So I'd be happy to field any questions you guys have. not then we'll conclude and everyone have a good night and uh feel free to reach out to us both by email if there's anything uh we can do for you or any questions you'd like to answer roll dons thank you thank you